So we're asked to draw the free body diagram of the dumpster of the truck, which has a mass of 2,500 kilograms and center of gravity at G. It's supported by a pin at A and a pin connected hydraulic cylinder BC. So first thing we're going to do is take out the component we're interested in. So we only are going to draw the free body diagram of this dumpster. So let's take it out. Alright, so the first force that I'm going to apply is the weight of the dumpster itself. So we're told that it has a mass of 2,500 kilograms. So we can convert that into a weight by timesing by gravity. So it's going to be 2,500 times 9.8. And this works out to be 24,500 newtons. So we can say that this is going to act through the center of gravity as a point force. So you're putting it on the diagram, it looks like that. Alright, so the next one I'm going to deal with is what's happening down here at point A. So we're told it's a pin joint, which means it's going to be able to react in a horizontal and vertical manner. Um, however, it's able to freely rotate about point A, so it's not going to react with a moment. So we're going to need to take a stab at the direction of our horizontal and vertical reactions. Remember, if we were to follow through with the maths, working out the values of these reactions, if they came out negative, then we'd know that we had the wrong direction and we just flip it over on the diagram. So it doesn't matter too much if you get yeah, the direction wrong. So I'm going to guess that the vertical component is going to point up to counteract with this one. So that's going to be a y. And we don't know too much about um, the x components. Um, it's going to come from this other one in a second. But I'm going to just take a stab and go to the right. So now we just need to figure out what's going on with BC. And the trick here is that we can treat BC as a two-force member. Okay. So this is going to mean that um, since it's connected by pin joints on either end, um, it's only going to have a either pure compression or pure tension force within it. So that's going to mean that the direction of the force within this member is the same as the member itself. So if I was to draw it, I'm going to assume it's going to go this way. I'm going to call it FBC, the force inside here. It's going to be exactly the same angle as the member. So it's going to have this 30 degree angle with the horizontal. So that's the trick here, is that being able to identify the two force member, um, because that's going to mean that you've got, only got three unknowns on your diagram, which is solvable with your three simultaneous equations, um, compared to if you just assumed this was a generic pin joint, um, which had an X and a Y component, both of which you wouldn't know, and then you'd end up with four unknowns on the diagram. So if you want a bit more information on two force members, um, there's a separate video discussing them. So this here is the answer for the free body diagram of the dumpster section of the truck. Um, and we'll do a few more questions um, in the following videos, which look at actually calculating um, values of these free body diagrams. So see you in those.